We made it. Here, you want to look at this? Oh, you got you got it. First sight, sand, island petroglyphs. There's a lot there. <laughs> a little bit. Okay, you see all the hands up there? Yeah. And then it's got, you know what, that alien looking stuff right there is, uh, there's very similar petroglyphs in Sago Canyon, which is a few hours from here. That's a different... Look at that one. Look at that toroid parat. I got it in the... It, see it? Yeah. That's crazy. Totally. I wish I could see what I was shooting. This is a neck bender. <laughs> Whole series of parats. You can hear Graham crying in the background. Let me, I can, I'm not doing anything. I can walk there. Huh. And then like, this old set of glyphs here that's really dark. Hey. Somebody refreshed. The guy? Part. Yeah. Yeah. There are so many glyphs on this panel. And as you go down, they and, and the glitz go all the way up in here. Oh, look at that. Like a, a bug or something?
Justin. Man, holy cow. This is unbelievable. I, I couldn't even see part of this before. <laughs> It's just the beginning. It keeps going to the left for hundreds of meters. I don't know how they got up there. <sighs> I wonder if this is graffiti. It looks like there's like a yin yang symbol over there. Look at this old one. Oh wow. With boobs. Look at this plasma line going up the wall. Yeah, and there's another dotted section that's real long over here, a double dotted line. Uh huh. I don't know what's going on there. Yeah. More Coca above Pellies. A, above a plasma. Two opposite facing Coca Pellies mm -hmm. near the diamond ring, which mm -hmm. is that same circle with the weird thing we saw at the other location. Mm -hmm. I can't even hold the camera up anymore. Appears to be very deeply packed hypodermic needles. They're like two feet long. You see those, Alan? The highest glyph. <laughs> what in God's name? It's not like we're missing part of the glyph. No, that's real fresh and high. What is that? Could be a spear. Uh -uh. Kind of spear. Low gun. <laughs> That's so precise, too. Yeah. Oh, and the plumage on the head. Floating balls with string coming down underneath them. Oh my gosh. I'm sorry. I just noticed something else. I know, but that one up there. Yeah, that. That thing is huge. The, um,. The guy here with a head and then Headdress. another two layers of head on top of him. <sighs> yeah. They're, they're just round circle things. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven circles. I don't know. Kinda I don't high. see it. Oh, I see it now. Yeah. Oh. Kind of high. Oh, those are just, interesting. Yeah, and they've just got one or two lines coming underneath them. Which might, which the lines look. So I, those are that's milkweed pigment in the circles there. One, two, three, four, five, six, six seven. Seven, maybe yeah. Sorry. Clemmy. Yeah, awesome. Some of the older glyphs. Newer yin yang.
That's a probably 700 year old glyph there. With the feathered hat. Pretty much a recurring theme we're now finding here. Bugs Bunny. These are uh, ancient Puebloan 700 or more years old, probably, based on the depth. And then a more recent Taurus there, as well as that like snake-like figure. So this is a solstice spiral. That's these have been shown. Um, so do you see the shadow now coming off of that flake to the left of the spiral here? Mm -hmm. During solstice, when this sun comes down, will be the only time that the shadow uh, moves to the right and covers that spiral to exactly at the midpoint. There's actually two spirals over here. Yeah, and, and so that. So where's the shadow for that one? It might be that top lip. Yeah. So it, yeah, and that's why I have these in here because the paper just came out on that, uh, on the oh, ancient Pueblons. All these spirals have a shadow associated that covers them halfway. I think they have that explanation at Chaco though. Yeah, the and here too. Here's a, yeah, this is probably another one, and there's the overhang above it. We gotta go out during a solstice, mm -hmm. and there's some little parat guys up there. Mm -hmm. wow, this stuff is really deep off to your left. Oh yeah, that's old. Yeah. It's also exposed. Well, it looks like... Little footprints. The animals right here. Girl. And a really nice... Anthropomorph. This is one of... Fascinating to me because it looks like a spiral, but it's not. <laughs> Looks like a maze. Right by the highway. Oh yeah. Oh man. Oh, there's a spiral. We're at relative to him. Above the big guy. To the right. Oh, I see. So that spiral gets this, this overhang, right. hits it and cuts it in half in just a few hours. But, and we're close to it, so it'll be close to it today because it's, you know, almost March 21st.
ones on top. Actually, I just now noticed the ones you just talked about. Three figures. Mm -hmm. there, I just now saw them. And over to the right of that, the ziggly line down to the big one. The, the really long one? The vertical? Yeah, yeah, it's very long. And there's a whole bunch of others in there too, but that one's really prominent. Get up that way. <laughs> you got some good toes. Yes, <laughs> I think you need two hands to check my feet. And then I'm, I'm, as I'm looking at them, I'm going, wait a second, no. Just, but they really, it really looks like it. <laughs> yeah. But there are some glyphs up here. Way up there in that corner. Yeah, there's some little deer. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You need your, yeah, yeah, okay. And then there's some above that. Yeah. Look at that thing. I'm going down in a place of glory. Do you guys feel like you're in a Bon Jovi, bon Jovi movie scene right now? Not really. Oh, come on. I couldn't find it. <laughs> The leash. Okay. Oh, you have. She has it. Oh, good. Yeah. So I brought this just in case. <laughs> Dog oh, on a bungee. Man, a whole bunch of, uh, wow. Cool. That's actually, those are some, those are in good shape, too. There's like a giant pterodactyl up there. It is extremely good. Oh, see An ostrich. Oh, highest no. top oh, left. Wow. Or camel. It's right here. It looks like a big old dinosaur. <laughs> Is it above or below the bluff? Right. Look at these waves. Way up there. They're pretty dark. Very old. Let's see if I can get in here and point at it. Right here on the left side. A wave curling to the left. So those are very old. And then we're coming up to a really nice panel. So bear with us. Yeah. Context is everything. Uh oh.
This is the Pratt panel. Very interesting feature here. Some kind of rub. Well, I can honestly say that that was the best three hour drive payoff that I can remember. If you get a chance to come out to Sand, no, Sa Sand Island, Island Petroglyphs, do it. It's spectacular. It's a lot less graffiti than uh, we read about. And there's just tons of awesome glyphs everywhere. So, if you like what you saw, share this with like-minded people. Subscribe to the channel. And this baby, this video, probably will not be demonetized. Be safe.